this morning we are expecting a team from IRC senior leadership to visit the assembly to interact with us on how far we are implementing the ANAM initiative. There are two activities we are expecting to undertake today. First, in the morning, the team will be paying a courtesy call to the district chief executive to interact with him. The assembly will also use the opportunity to share an overview of the ANAM initiative and the progress made so far in its implementation. Later in the day, uh, the assembly together with its partners will be holding an award ceremony for CSOs who have been given financial resources to implement a number of activities. Why are we here? Uh, we are here on a visit, as I said originally, and then we are also here to interact with you on the progress of work. We are also here to introduce our brothers from Mali and Niger to witness how we work here. Ingebo, John and Patrick were here when we launched the project. They haven't been here since. So they are also here to observe the progress that we are making. And Mr. Inkum to observe how we work so that he can uh, advise us. Together with the districts, I'm sure they will tell us, they have developed a program uh, to introduce you to the work that we are doing here. So sir, we are here on a visit and to, to meet you, interact and find out how things are going. Thank you for organizing to meet us. As you typically know of this assembly, is very grateful to all the partners, especially the IRC Ghana, the World Vision Choir Institute, and then the, the Centric Safe Water. You know, ever since I joined this assembly, the water was a very challenging for us. And I can stand here and say that we have achieved a lot. Since 2019, I've been talking, or late 2019, I've been talking with Vida about trying to arrange a visit for IRC's global management team to come here and to see what's happening. Because I think, you know, what's, what you're achieving here is so impressive. And the progress you're making is so impressive. I think it's something that, you know, we talk about a lot as IRC. We talk about it internationally. We share it at conferences, even your district chief executive has come and shared some of that at international conferences. But I really wanted to bring the IRC management team here. Well, we should have done it around this time last year. We weren't able to. But in the end, I said, let's go ahead now. Even though we still have COVID, let's at least see how many we can get. So you, we have apologies from some of our colleagues. I know that our Ugandan colleagues, our Ethiopian colleagues, our colleagues from Burkina would all have liked to have been here too. Unfortunately, because of COVID, they can't join it, but us. But we're very grateful to have our colleagues from Mali and Niger who've made the long journey and to really come and experience what it is that you've been able to do here. My first impression about this um, morning session we had with the the district authorities uh, is very positive in the sense of uh, where uh, I'm coming from. Uh, we are in the process as IRC to establish an office uh, and we are in the process of uh, uh, having a focused district. So uh, coming uh, uh, to this session and seeing uh, whatever you've been able to achieve as, um, as, as partners, as uh, collective action, so for me, it's really impressive uh, and uh, the process you went through to realize all the achievements you did uh, in terms of uh, strengthening the washer systems uh, in the district. And for me, this is very impressive. I think actually the district is a bit modest in, in, in what they presented. They presented progress, but knowing that if this progress continues like this, they the, the district will achieve like safe water for everyone by 2023, which is 
which is amazing.